Our top story tonight, five firemen back on the job nearly a week after a massive fire heavily damaged two homes in downtown Macon. Avery Braxton spoke to the man about battling the blaze and the bonds that type of work builds. Avery joins us now in studio with more. Yeah, all of those firefighters are back in work in different capacities. Some back to fighting fires while others hang back to recover. But all in all, they say battling that blaze was about making sure no man was left behind. Inside the house, it, it was nothing but flames. There was fire everywhere, every room, ceiling, everything was on fire. It was so hot that it was melting the sides of the other houses. That's how firefighters involved in last Wednesday's blaze described battling a fire that involved three houses. For some, it was the biggest they'd ever seen. As far as that magnitude, yes it is. Um, last week was, was, was something for the ages. And you can see it, honestly, you can see it from first street. You can see the glow. The call came in around 9 p.m. and left them battling well into the night, trying to contain a blaze that wanted to consume more than just one home. We had a group of people in this house and a group of people in that house. So that's how we were uh, able to communicate and know what's going on. I went up the ladder, um, busted the windows out, and uh, was handed a hose. Uh, by that time, I engaged the fire myself. But a fire of that size doesn't come without dangerous surprises. When I was in that situation, I was stopped. Sergeant Fernandito Laconico and Private James Russian found themselves in what could have been a deadly situation when the roof collapsed on them in one of the houses, pinning Laconico. Good night, this is going to be it for me because as soon as that roof hit me in my head, I thought I was it. But Russian moved quickly, calling for help before trying to pull out his sergeant. I didn't think. It's just, you know, sometimes your feet move before. I just did whatever I could. And a special moment passed between them. My lieutenant got to my ears. He said, hey, calm down. I will go out here with you. I will never leave you. The pair made it out and were taken to the hospital. Laconico has a C7 vertebrae fracture and is confined to office duties for the next two weeks. Russian had a neck and knee sprain. He's back to fighting fires. Private Matthew Telenov fractured his ankle trying to escape a house, and Matthew Cooper smashed his thumb but has no broken bones. Every single firefighter said as long as everyone makes it home, the injuries are inconsequential. Um, I'll take it any and every time. Uh, they want me to come home, you know, and that's what's important. They got me out and I was blessed to be alive, for sure. Living to fight one more day. Now both Telenov and Laconico hope to be back fighting fires within the next two weeks. Each firefighter I spoke to said they wouldn't change a thing and they'll head into the next fire just as bold. Thank wow. Frank and Lori, back to you guys. All right, brave men indeed. Thanks, Avery. Still no word, or official word, on what started that fire. Making it Fire Chief Marvin Reagan says they're waiting on results from the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms, and Explosives.